let's uh let's just get get this started man how's germany man how you know what's the protocol like over there for for covid currently um it's pretty relaxed nothing really going on i think uh when you're in the trains and stuff like that you still need a mask but for the most part it's very relaxed but they are looking to gear things up again potentially this fall so we'll see oh really is it the num are the numbers up or something for covid i think I think numbers have been up in a lot of places. I think the U.S. has been having lots of cases as well. It just hasn't been as bad. Like people are getting used to it, and lots of people are vaccinated. Um, but yeah, I think they're just preparing for, just like with any other flu, that it gets worse in the winter. And yeah, you had COVID. Bit. Have you had it multiple times? Yeah, I've had it twice, at least twice. At least twice, you say. So you, at least twice maybe three two maybe confirmed four. times possibly more i don't really know do, do you feel like you're getting stronger against it because you know some people they haven't experienced it multiple times uh the second time i had it i um sorry fly um i would not have known that i had covid i would have just thought oh, i just got a little bit of a cold i could have had it last week too i had a cold last week but um i just didn't didn't even feel the need to test myself <laughs> so oh, uh, yeah man that's that sounds right man that sounds right all right september 3rd you return to action ufc paris mago Medoff. what are your thoughts on the matchup man uh it's a it's a tough matchup um the guy's good he's been on my radar for a long time also being a, another guy living and fighting out of germany um so it's definitely going to be a tight tough fight it's a winnable fight it's definitely doable um but he's going to go out there put on the Putting the pace, he has sort of a long rangey style and then some some good wrestling to back it up. So it's definitely going to be a, a tough fight, but uh, um, looking forward to it. Yeah, man, I think it's a it's a good matchup, and you taking this fight on is would you consider it short notice? Um, I think it was like five weeks out. I took the fight, so it's like a slightly abridged camp. Um, biggest thing was that it was just directly after. The last fight so i didn't get i got about a half a week of a break in between my last fight and this fight camp that kind of sucks man because you're from the east coast and you're in new york and you could have spent some time and did you go back home for at least a day or so uh no uh, but i was i visited home um i went for the second half of my camp i did in las vegas so flying over to las vegas i spent a little bit of time at home i had a cousin that got married so um, I was able to go to his wedding and then flew over to Vegas, did the rest, most of the rest of my camp in Vegas. And then I came over like two weeks before the fight back to the East Coast, was able to see my family again um, for, for that week, uh, for, for the week before fight week. And so that was really nice. Um, did a little bit of my camp there in the Pennsylvania, New York area. And then the fight being in Long Island, family was able to come up and and then I saw some more of them there, had some time. And then because it was so early in the day, I think, what did I fight like at 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning? And so I had like the rest of the day, uh, we had lunch together after the fight. So that was nice. Um, and then I had like, my flight was the next day in the evening, so we had a lot of time together then, too. But I came back to Germany. A couple of days later, I got the news and just started my camp out here. Um, the fight being over just in Paris, which isn't very far away. Um, it just made more sense to finish up here and not be jumping around and traveling too much and dealing with jet lag all the time. Long Island, man, you, you, get, you go there, you know, you get the decision win, your first win in the octagon. The stakes were very, very high, but you got it done. You know, what did you think of the performance overall? And, and were there any moments of error you remember? So I'm super happy with the outcome, obviously. I, I got the win. Um, I got the extension to, or I got a new contract and stuff like that. Uh, with my performance itself, it's sort of split. Um, I think my... My offense um, was uh, to be desired. My my defense was good. I only really got hit once in the fight, which is great. Um, 
And uh, I mean, obviously, I got hit more than that, but only like once cleanly. So that's that's good. Um, so he wasn't able to get to like during my defense very well. Um, I really should have been putting a little bit more pressure on him with the takedowns. Um, my he he has a bit of a rangy style, so it was uh, it's hard to get on his hips sometimes. But my chain wrestling is just so much better. Um, I really should have been going for that a little bit harder because once it hit the ground, he really didn't have any answer. And I, I felt that and I saw that in the second round. And so in the third round, I really should have been pushing that a little bit more. And then I probably would have, would have gotten the finish uh, instead of the decision. But um, all in all, it worked for that day. Uh, and so that's all you can really hope for is um, just it got the win. So that's good enough. Uh, but definitely some things that I took home and to work on, try to get this, uh, try to get comfortable with my striking again. Um, during the whole COVID stuff, um, I've been a little bit reduced my ability to to train kickboxing, just the way um, COVID has affected different gyms that I used to, used to train at and their schedules and my schedules. And so I've been neglecting that a little bit, but I've been trying to get back into the Muay Thai gyms and get a little bit more of that in to get, get in my flow and get back to at least where I was before because I feel like my my striking was at a decent level and then it's got a little hesitant. So I just need to get back to that being comfortable on the feet again. Fighting in the morning. Did you feel any effects of that, like that, that morning? Are you a morning person? Uh, I am a, a morning person. I used to hate training in the morning though. Um, it was a little bit too much too early, but anymore, I mean, um, I train twice a day. So one of those times is right around that time anyway, uh, especially over in Las Vegas, the, the, the pro class at syndicate are at 11. So it was right around the same time. And we just kept doing that. I was doing my hard, uh, sessions right around like 11 or 12. Uh, time so it really wasn't that big of a deal it was weird like getting up and being like all right we need to go now to go fight um so i think we need to leave the hotel at like 8 15 in the morning which is super early to be going and getting a fist fight but by the time everything was done and the whole process that's before the fight um it you have a lot of time to sort of get your head into that space. And I had less time to stress out and psych myself out. Like what's been going on, the what happened in the other two fights before that. Um, so that was really nice. I wasn't as mentally and emotionally tired from just being stressed um, because I didn't have the time to be as stressed as long. So that was nice. Was there any pressure? And if there was pressure, what is that pressure cooker like? in the UFC, you know, when you have to win the fight or you, you most likely will, you know, go home basically. Um, I, the, the pressure for me to win, to stay into the U in the UFC was a little bit less than it was just like to be able to prove to myself and to everyone that has been helping me and has been supporting me, uh, and to prove that we've done the work and we, I have the ability to to be at that level um i was just um really putting a lot of pressure on myself to go out there and show that i can hang with these guys show that i can win um and it was more along that sort of line i thought i was going to get cut i was pretty convinced of that after the mayor shark fight um and i was actually surprised when i got this fight so or the dwight grant fight so um so already having come to grips with possibly being out of the UFC, that wasn't necessarily the biggest um, the biggest stress factor. It's more just like having wanted to to show myself and to show everyone else what I can do, and to not realize that potential time after time after time uh, is very very stressful and very frustrating. Um, and so it was more of that sort of thing. Has that mentality altered any since then? Um, 
I've relaxed a lot. I mean, um, I went in there. I finally got a win. Shown that, um, yeah, I can, that, that I do belong at this level. Um, now, especially with it just being here, close to where I live, it's been a lot more relaxed. Like I keep forgetting that I have a fight in like a, a week and a half, which is sort of nice. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm still training super hard, I'm working on all my stuff, but it feels like the beginning of camp instead of the end of camp, um, just because it's still here. And I've been doing the last parts of my camp over in Vegas for the most part uh, for my last couple of fights. So um, it's a lot more relaxed and just having the weight off my shoulders of finally getting that first win. Um, I'm very aware of the fact that this is a tough fight and it really could go either way. Um, and so, so there's definitely the, the possibility and the stress of loss, but I'm at a much more relaxed place of it, having finally at least got my first win behind me. Now it's like, let's just go in there, let's have fun, let's get paid, let's just do our job. Did it ever get not fun for you? Yes. When was that? Um, so... Uh, so after the my fight against Kyle Dawkins, I was very upset about going in there and then my my body just not cooperating. It was obviously a very frustrating feeling. Uh, and then I really wanted to go in there and, and and prove that that's not how I fight and that's not the level that I can fight at against Rodolfo. And after losing that one as well, um, this time. Obviously, Rodolfo is a stud, and he's very good at what he does. But uh, in my eyes, largely due to not being mentally sharp, um, that's when it became more about proving to myself and to other people that I can do this, that I should be there, um, more than just going in there and doing what I like to do. And so that's when training started to become a lot more work um, and just – a lot less about, hey, this is what you like to do, sort of thing. Um, but I'm back to that now. I feel very relaxed. i um, been having a lot of fun this camp, so uh, excited to go in there and, and do my work. Yeah, yeah. Do what I'm here to do. Exactly. Have fun. And, uh, you know, you mentioned earlier you had about five weeks to get ready. You must have made some kind of adjustments. You know, what kind of adjustments did you make? Um, I didn't really make too many adjustments. I just got right back into training. Uh, I was already at a at a good physical fitness from my last camp. I had a long camp last time. I think I put in about 10 weeks into that camp. Uh, so coming right out of that, I was already in, in good physical condition. I just needed to get in there and start sharpening things that I have been working on. And yeah, because Abus is such a well-rounded fighter there wasn't a lot of like spe specific things that i was that well that i need to definitely make sure that i'm really good with and that i need to this weakness i really need to exploit it's more just okay let's make sure everything's as good as we can get it um make sure my striking's on point make sure my wrestling's on point and my grappling's on point because the fight can take place anywhere and it's going to be hard everywhere so um not too much specific training, just a lot of making sure that I'm physically and mentally fit and sharp for this fight. UFC Paris, what type of performance are you expecting, man? It's a historic moment. You're part of history. Um, I mean, as far as my performance goes, uh, I need to go in there and um, really put the fight to him. He's, he's a good fighter. He has a lot of experience. Um, I think the Biggest, I think he's been ranked above me here in like the regional scene since I've come onto the scene. So uh, it'll be sort of a lot of German fans are complaining about having us fight each other, uh, which I get. Um, but the other the other side of this is now we're really going to see who's the best middleweight in Germany, and for the 
what, eight years that I've been over here, it's always been Abus. And so now it's like, all right, is it Abus or is it me? Um, so that's sort of a nice little plus for me. I get to go in there and see if I am the, the regional number one at least. Um, and yeah, other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a stylistic fight where I'm going to have to go in there and take the fight to them. So it's going to be exciting. So fight fans, whether German or just in general, are going to have a good fight to, to watch. So um, just stylistically, it's, it's it's going to be an exciting fight. We can't just we're not just going to stand there and look at each other the whole time. It's it's going to be a bite down your mouthpiece and fight sort of fight. I like this fight, man, even more now. You know, it's like who's the king of Germany at middleweight? There he is. <laughs> I love it. You know, I wish the UFC yeah, would find out somehow, you know, promote it that way. You know, why not? You, you just gave the whole history of it. He was ranked number one, yeah, and then you came one, up the I'm ranks. Ranked number two. Yeah. Yeah. And and now it's it's so much better because you guys meet in the UFC, right? So it's like yeah. in prime time. And we've always been like in circles that have overlapped, but we've never actually met or trained together. So that works out too. It's not like I'm fighting a buddy of mine or something like that. It's I know who he is. He knows who I am, but we don't have, you know, we're not, we're not friends. Um, so it makes it a little bit less awkward. Yeah. Well, September 3rd, man, UFC Paris, the battle of Germany is going down. Let's see what Who's happens. Number... Exactly. Who's number one? Dustin, appreciate the time, man. Thank you so much and all the best in the fight. Thank you.